Whenever we talk about khadi, immediately a thought comes to our mind, actually what it is. The authentic definition of khadi defines it as a cloth or any cloth weaved from cotton, woolen or made of wool with handcrafted yarns or by a mixture of both or all types of yarn within India. It is said about khadi that it is cool in summer and hot in winter. Means khadi is a fabric that keeps us cool during summer and gives us warmth during winter. In simple terms, khadi is an environmental friendly or eco-friendly fabric. Gandhiji had inspired the country with the spirit of self-employment and self-dependency by the way of spinning charkha and handloom in every house of the country. He used to say that what we weave, so we wear. Taking ahead the spirit of him, the Khadi and Village Industries Commission was established in the year 1956 and by its constant effort, today more than 2,000 Khadi institutions are producing cotton, woolen, silk, muslin and poly khadi of worth rupees 900 crores throughout the country, generating employment for and providing means of livelihood to almost 12 lakh spinners, weavers and other artisans. Gandhiji has said that khadi is not just a fabric but an ideology. That is, khadi is a fabric that is connected to pattern of thinking. It is a kind of belief that makes us self-dependent and self-determined, provides us employment and that has the gist of indigenous or Swadeshi. Today Khadi has been established as a brand and is filling the needs of every person in every household. Everywhere, tricolor made of Khadi is used prestigiously. Khadi had obtain a distinguished place in the hearts of common men of this country. Today, Khadi fabric and ready-mates are being sold from more than 7,000 Khadi bhavans and bhandars throughout the country. And it is available for sale in different colors and designs. And it is very, very popular in every age group. I like the unique quality of the, the grain of the fabric. Or you make Keeping in mind the usefulness and authenticity of Khadi, our Honorable Prime Minister during his speech called Man Ki Baat on 3rd October 2014 has appealed the people of the country to adopt khadi. After his appeal, there has been a constant increase in sales of khadi. You may be pondering that how and where this khadi is being made from. So let me explain you about its manufacturing process. Firstly, the raw cotton that is easily available in the local market thoroughly thrashed and cotton is extracted thereby. This cotton is then spin into yarn on a traditional wheel or charkha by fixing spindles into it. Usually this traditional wheel of charkha produces a coarse or a thick yarn that are mostly used for making carpets, sackings, bed sheets, etc. After completing their day's work and other house courses, the spinners make yarn using these traditional wheels. Generally, the spinning work are carried out by women in their house itself as additional tasks other than their routine house courses. If a spinner spins cotton on a traditional charkha for almost 8 hours a day, then he or she can produce approximately 300 grams of yarn. The traditional charkha can produce 8 to 10 counts of yarn. Counts related to the thickness of cotton yarn that also determines the type of fabric would be woven. The institutions registered with KVIC and KVIB purchases this cotton and make available it to the spinners and take back the yarn produced by them. The spinners get their due daily wages up to Rs 25 per day according to their work. The fine yarn is spun on amber charkha with 8 spindles with new model charkha. 
It needs saliva to spin on this charkha, which are provided by the central saliva plants of Khadi and Village Industries Commission, set up in Raibareli, Eta, Sihor, Trichur, Chitradurg, Hajipur, or through the outlets godowns opened by the central saliva plants at various cities. The yarn up to 100 count is spun on this charkha and the weavers make the shirting and coating from it. The yarn on new model charkha may be spun eightfold in comparison with traditional charkha. A spinner earns Rs. 125 a day on performing the spinning work on this charkha. The yarn spun on charkha is collected on pop machine and pop is made before sending it for weaving on loom. A total of 400 meters pop may be made on same day. For using it on webs on loom, the yarn is entwined on pipes which is used in shuttle of looms. Weaving process is performed on the looms for making fabrics. A weaver can make around 8 to 12 meters fabric on weaving 8 hours a day and in this way he or she can earn Rs 200 per day. This is a tana machine. We make tana from it and from the tana machine एक बार 400 400 मीटर का ताना बन जाता है यह कोई ऐसा मुश्किल काम नहीं सिर्फ नजर से देखने का काम है मैं मास्टर हूं खड्डी का सारा जो है खड्डी भी ठीक करता हूं मैं ताना बनाता हूं और अब लगभग भी कर लेता हूं तो हमारी रोज रोटी बहुत अच्छी चल रही है इसमें जो है बड़ी अच्छी रोजगार मिला है हमें खड्डी के जरिए बहुत खुश हैं हम खड्डी इतनी पसंद है हमें कि बड़े मजे में हम अपना रोजी रोटी कमा खा रहे हैं the fabric which is made on the looms is called plain fabric and it needs processing before being used. It includes washing, dyeing and printing. The process is an important task which is generally performed in processing house. In the block printing unit, different types of printing works are performed on the fabrics and again it is washed after printing. Then this fabric gets ready to be used which are made available to the Khadi Bhavans and Bhandars for sale or the ready-made items are made from these fabrics and made available to the public. The process of making Khadi fabric is so easy. It can be started anywhere without any additional skill. The required raw material are easily available. In this present era, there are plenty of opportunities of self-employment for the youths and Khadi activity is always one of them. Khadi activities can be started by any of the individual at their own level personally or through establishing the institution. For starting the Khadi activities at individual level, the weavers and spinners present at that place must be identified where Khadi activity is to be started and Khadi mark certificate should be received from KVIC. For starting the Khadi activities, a unit costing of 25 new model charkhas and 5 looms is to be set up. A new model charkha costs Rs 15,000 and a loom costs Rs 50,000. In this unit, a warp machine worth Rs 20,000 is needed to be installed. In this way, a total sum of Rs 6,45,000 is required in setting up a unit. Apart from this, it needs 400 kg of slivers in a month for spinning on a unit of new model charkha and it costs Rs 68,000. Expenses on the washing and processing of the fabrics include Rs 1,2,000. The remuneration of the spinners and weavers will be Rs 65,000 and 50,000 respectively and other expenses such as the rent of Khadi Bhavans and Khadi Bhandars, salary of the workers will be 70,000 rupees per month. In this way, a total working capital of rupees 3,55,000 will be incurred for a month. Generally, total cost to set up a Khadi unit along with capital expenditure and working capital will be rupees 10 lakhs. In a NMC's unit, the production of cotton will be 
392 kg per month by which about 2773 meters plain fabric can be made and its market rate will be rupees 2 lakhs 66264 after coloring printing washing and other expenditure on the cloth it can be sold for about 4 lakh by this way entrepreneur will save rupees 45000 per month the entrepreneur not only gets employment for himself but he can provide employment to around 35 other persons also besides khadi institutions have been encouraged to participate in national and international exhibitions by kvic and other agency adopt khadi and give your valuable contribution in the progress of the nation for more details please log on www.kvic.org